Today, the Congolese community is holding a Mother's Day celebration at the East End Community School in Portland. I'm joined by Henri, who is the president of Coco Maine, and he's going to tell us a little bit more. Henri, welcome. Thank you very much. So tell me a little bit more about this event today. Uh, yes, today, Mother's Day, we decided to organize it for the first time to say a big thank you to our mothers and our grandmothers and 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 grandmothers with uh, our culture, we like to show to the world how we express our cultures and it's a lot of huge variety. But today we like to focus on the music, Christian music, traditional music, popular music. We like to say a big thank to our mothers. We like to thank them. We are surprising them with so many gifts that we are going to give them and so many wonderful things. Our very own mayor of Portland, Ethan Strimling, made an appearance at the festivities. How do you think these kind of events um, not only integrate you know, other communities with our own communities, but also um, give us an awareness of different cultures and backgrounds? Sure, it's absolutely about uh, learning about different cultures and backgrounds, but from my perspective, it's really about building our economy, and this is the next generation of our economy that's here and helping to build what it is that Portland is going to become. The city right now has over 10,000 folks who are born in other countries who have come here to this city and they make us stronger every day. How long did it take for you to plan the event? It took, it took us like three weeks, okay. but it was intense because we, we thought about it like short time. We, we were short about time and we said we need it, we need to do it. So we took three, three weeks. And a, a lot of meetings to plan the event, how we will go. And because we say really matters, mm -hmm. we say our matters today, the community mm -hmm. will, will, give, will give the gift to mothers. Oh, All mothers will have, will have today a gift. Beside the gift, we say we're going to take this chance while we celebrate our mothers, we will also express our culture out there. So it's why we, we plan to have different kind of how we celebrate in our country, music, gospel music, mm -hmm. and we're gonna have also popular music, how we celebrate. The Mother's Day is really international, but they've never been appreciated as a mother, just at least to say thank you as a mother. So I just thought about it. I said, okay, this is a new Congolese community of men, so we really need to value our mother because they came from different places, refugees and, and uh, they just migrate here, so they really need to be recognized. So we put that project together. So it was an idea but combining with orders that I mean, with the Congo men, mm -hmm. we are creating an event. As Portland's cultural diversity continues to grow, many immigrant communities are sharing their culture and customs through these kinds of events. Today, the Congolese community is opening the door for cross-cultural dialogue and introducing Portland to its new residents through a Mother's Day celebration. What we would like to have, it's not only an event for the Congolese mothers, Congolese ladies, it's for all the mothers of the world. We would like to tell them that we love them, we care for them as the same way they care for us. Maybe they did too more, too, more, too much because they started since we were even babies and that, how we bring like that. But it's an event with all the communities so we can be together to show love to one another, peace to one another, uh, to one another. This is, by doing that we can build a better world. This is why I thought, we thought that let's just bring all the models together. Let's bring everybody, not only the models, but Men as well come and support everybody, the ladies, and have a wonderful time. In our culture, to celebrate is mostly to dance, so that will be. But it's for well, different. Any um, traditional Congolese dancing? Yeah. Right, yeah. Right now, the I don't know if you work, we you work there. It's we got a group of Congolese women who. who how to say that? Who play drums? Oh, so that's okay. yeah, that's typical. That's okay. yeah, that's something you know. It's typical Congolese. Many gathered to enjoy the festivities, which included traditional Congolese music and food, as well as gifts and flowers for all the mothers in attendance. 